Hello friends. In this session, we will discuss about level order traversal or breadth first traversal implementation. Level order traversal is a breadth first based traversal. First, it will start at tree root node, explores all the nodes from left to right in the same level before it moves on to next level. So here is a binary tree. This node is root and the root node is at level 0. This is level 1, this is level 2. As discussed, level order traversal start from root node. So we will print root node value A, then it goes to next level which is level 1 and traversal start from leftmost node that is from here it visits the node before it goes to next node C and so on. Since it has visited all nodes in level 1 it moves on to next level which is 2. Again it starts from left moves on to right node reads all node values and prints C D E F this is called level order traversal or breadth first traversal. Now, how can we implement this programmatically? How can we build logic for level order traversal? We will start with root node. Its value is A. We will print here. Now, we have references to its left child and right child. We can come to this node and we can print B as per our logic we need to get a reference for its sibling node C but unfortunately from this node we do not have any reference to go back to its parent or given node does not have any reference to its siblings so in such cases how can we handle traversal we will take help of a queue here at first, we will add root node into the queue. Now we will use a while loop. Iterate through the queue until the queue is empty. Since queue has already root node, we will read this element, we will take this out. We will read the data of it and we will print it. Now we will see given node has any left reference it has a left reference we will insert that into q now which is b similarly we will see does this node has any right reference it has a right reference we'll insert that also into the q now we are in while loop it goes to next iteration it finds node b now we will print the value of b again we will see for its left and right references in this case i will find c and d i'll insert them in the same order before moves to next iteration now i'll take out next element i'll print it and I will add its left and right references into Q. In the next iteration, again, we will go to node C, we will print its value. It does not have any left and right references, so I don't add anything into the Q. In the next reference, we will take out node D, print its value, no children, no addition. Similarly, E and F. Finally, the queue is empty. We will come out of while loop. So, this is how we implement. So, this is where the data is listed based on level order traversal. Now, let's write a code. Create a new class. Level order traversal 
will create a static class called node it has data which will store node data and nodes for left and right children references we'll also have a constructor in order to create a node which has an integer variable which will be assigned to data field now we'll have a reference to root node inside this class node root we'll write a method public method which returns nothing level order traversal we'll create a queue i'm going to take uh, help from java i'm not going to implement a queue here Now by default I'll add root node into the queue. Now I'll use while loop to iterate over the queue until queue is empty. Queue dot is empty. When queue is not empty, we will iterate through the while loop. When queue is empty, we will come out of the while loop so now just get the queue node pop out or dq a node from root so here equivalent method is remove which we will store into a temporary node called current now print node value which is cur dot data and give some space here so since we are printing everything in single line the spaces are delimiters here now let's check if its left node is not null we will add it into queue if current dot left reference not equal to null add into q q dot add current dot left similarly if current dot right node right shield is not null add it into q cur dot right so now we build this method we'll write a simple main method to test this code public static void main okay i'll create a reference to this class i'll name it l o t I'll create a root node first. Lot dot root equal to new node. It has data of thirty four. Now I'll create root nodes left reference. Lot dot root dot left equal to new node fifty six. Similarly, I'll create a right node reference. for the root and i'll change the value to 67 now i'll add two more nodes to each of these nodes now left dot left is 90 
and here write is fixed rate three. Here roots a right node. We'll add another left node, which eight ninety. Now let's call the method dot level under traversal. Let's run this method. If you notice, the data is printed as we inserted. We inserted in such a way that we inserted nodes in such a way that based on level under traversal. So now thirty four. 56, 67, 90, 63, 890, 543. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.